And here it is, this is the GTX 460 from EVGA. Now this graphics card comes armed with a 1024 megabyte of blazing fast GDDR5 memory. So let's take this card out of the box, check the card out, as well as what accessories come with the GTX 460. With the GTX 460, you will receive a GTX 400 GPU series bumper sticker, as well as a user guide and an install or driver CD or DVD with case decal and a quick start guide. Here's the main package in itself. Looks like it's made from recycled cardboard, so worry you know, EVJ or NVIDIA going green. So let's have a look inside this box. Inside the box you will receive two power dongles. These are Molex, the six pin power adapters. You'll receive a adapter dongle. This is a mini HDMI to a regular HDMI adapter, as well as your VGA DVI adapter. So let's take this card out of the box and check out the new GTX 460 graphics card. So let's take this card out of the wrapper, but before we do, notice there is a decal on there that says Caution Electric Static Devices. Unlike the GTX 480, which had a huge yellow decal on it, basically indicating that if you touch that graphics card while it was hot, you may burst into flames. Assuming this card's going to run a lot cooler, but we'll discover those temperatures during the benchmarks. So let's remove this card from the packaging and check out the GTX. 460 external exhaust graphics card. And here is the external exhaust GTX 460. You can see here with a big fan that basically pumps or flows the air from the back of the graphics card across the heatsink and vents it out the back of your PC case. Let's have a closer look at this card. On the back of the card itself, we have this huge vent for venting the heat off the graphics card. We have a two DVI ports and mini HDMI port. On the front of the graphics card, we have our two six pin power connectors and a fan connector. On the side of the graphics card, we have a single SLI connector. Now this card is limited to SLI connectivity only. This card cannot be used in three way or four way SLI. So let's take a closer look at the detailing on this card and don't forget to check back for those benchmarks.
Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware. Or feel free to follow us on Facebook using the following web link.